What's up guys, my name is Tyler. Let's talk about everything you guys need to know revolving around AMC. We're gonna go over the technical analysis, the Ortex data, we're gonna go over the Fintel data, as well as acknowledge, I'm just gonna point it out right now, that the AMC CEO or CFO dumps chunk of stock and they have Adam Aaron front and center on this article. We're gonna go over what they sold and basically what to expect going ahead into the future. This is really a FUD article and Coming from Fox Business, or at least a misleading article or misguided article, coming from Fox Business is very surprising. So we're going to go over everything you guys need to know. Drop that like on the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell. So the technicals, guys, what happened today? What happened today? Obviously, it's Thursday. We see that fraud, manipulation, and corruption coming in heavy today with AMC Stock, like we typically do on Thursdays and Fridays throughout any given trading week. Now, I think personally we're seeing this because especially we have a lot of contracts, a lot of calls that were in the money that did go out of the money. Combined, we're looking at about 50,000 contracts that went out of the money today alone. So definitely something to keep in mind that this is going to happen pretty much every Thursday and Friday as far as what it looks like to me, but nothing to be concerned about. Now, as far as where we do currently sit on a technical basis, guys, this 200-day moving average is going to be a support level. That is at $30.34. I don't think we're going back down to those levels, but if we continue to sell off and see this short attack coming throughout tomorrow or even next week, who knows when this will end, then $30 looks like your lowest level. We're going to see a lot of support around that 200-day moving average. As far as potential upside, guys, we're going to have to break out past the 50-day moving average, which is $35.64. After that, you're looking at $40 as a resistance level. But right now, it looks about 50-50. We could reverse this trend, obviously, because today was a very bad day, down about 8.5%. But relative to the move that we have been seeing, you can see we're still about $4 from this low we were just at back here. And this was August 11th at about $30 per share. So definitely still up, but it could go either way at this point. We know there's a lot of fraud, manipulation, and corruption that is going on that we just cannot stop ourselves. Now, let's get into the stock O tracker data because like I was saying, about 50,000 options ran uh, ran out of the money that were in the money today. So you could still see hedging on this 36,000 for in the money calls expiring obviously this Friday. But if we do see a positive move However, that does happen tomorrow, then you're going to see a ton of hedging that will have to happen. So we're either going to see a really red day tomorrow or we're going to see a very green day tomorrow. That is my overall opinion. Out of the money options at 387,057 contracts, a lot of liquidity is just drying up with these options where in my personal opinion you could just be better off buying the shares because they don't expire worthless and there will always be value in the shares unless the company goes bankrupt and gets delisted but that's not a possibility in amc's case now so you're really not looking at any huge potential for a gamma squeeze like i said you're gonna see a big pop if we do see a pop in the overall stock as far as our next most likely situation to see a gamma squeeze it's september 17th we do have about 68,000 calls that are in the money, out the money calls at 246,663. So by the time this expiration does come out, this is going to be our rock solid best chance of seeing a gamma squeeze, probably one uh, on a magnitude that we have not seen in a long time. So definitely by September 17th, you're going to be seeing some action. And it, obviously to point out the obvious here, we're going to be to September and October, November in no time at all. So definitely, I think the short squeeze is coming close than a lot of people do think but in the money puts you're looking at 73,171 so you did see a lot of puts that ran into the money today thankfully a lot of them are concentrated in between $25 strike and the $20 strike so you're not really going to see a huge level of shorting from the market makers that have to hedge these contracts in the open markets by this Friday. So I don't think you're really going to see a reversal gamma squeeze. I don't really know what to call it, but just shorting going into the markets to hedge on these put contracts, basically a reverse gamma squeeze. I don't think you're going to see any of that action, but let's get into the Ortex data guys. The Ortex data, let's refresh this, is indicating an 18% flat short interest percentage of free flow. You're looking at 92.06 million shares that are sold short that will need to be covered in the future. So that is a very large amount. Do not underestimate 18% short interest and 92.06% or 
92.06 million shares that have to be bought back. That is about double the volume we are seeing on any given day. So definitely a huge number right there. Overall, very bullish. Share utilization is coming down at 90.97% meaning that there is more shares available to be sold short, but we're not seeing the free flow on loan going up as much as the share utilization is going down. So some shorts are taking a step back, at least as far as the Ortex data is providing to us, and they're not going out and rushing to short the stock right away. I don't know if you see that as a bullish or bearish thing. It seems like that would be a bullish thing because obviously you wouldn't want to short a stock that you thought was going to go up, but it'll be even more bullish if we do see the short interest continue to go up. We will have the information information for today's sell-off like i said down about eight and a half percent i expect to see the short interest jump up back to about 19 and a half or even 20 percent so that is kind of what i am expecting we won't see those numbers for the next two days like i did say that's basically what you guys need to know the overall grand scope of things looks to be very bullish also the 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 13 F filings are still coming out for AMC stock. As we can see for today, August 19th, we can see a lot of these filings. All of these filings are bullish, either white and gray, which means that they haven't done anything with their position. They haven't sold. They haven't bought anymore. Usually we're seeing around $33 is the average price. Coincidentally, that's where we kind of come down off of. Once we do go under that, it tends to be a resistance level. But nevertheless, very, very bullish activity. One, two, three new positions, share positions, and the overall grand scope of things looks to be very bullish from these 13F filings that are coming out. And from our calculations in the last video, you've seen about 13 and a half million additional shares that have been bought in the second quarter. So overall, very, very bullish information. Now, let's get into this uh, Fox Business article. It says, AMC CFO dumps chunk of stock. Goodman now owns approximately 111,300 shares valued at more than 3.8 million. And they have front and center picture of Adam Aaron trying to portray it to seem like uh, the, C the CEO is selling out a chunk of his shares. And that is simply not the case, but it is expected he is going to later on throughout the rest of this year as he is getting older. But we will talk about that more and exactly what he said in just a minute. Now, according to an S SEC filing, the shares were sold at an average price of $34.79 per share for a total tra transaction of almost $1.6 million. Goodman now owns approximately 111,300 shares valued at 3.8 million, almost 3.9 million. So still owns a large percentage. He was selling about 25% of his total stake. So definitely sold a chunk, but that is going to happen when you have bills to pay, families to feed, vacations to go on. You know what these guys do, how they live their lifestyle. So obviously it's going to happen. It's not necessarily a bearish thing on AMC whatsoever. And actually at the last earnings call, Adam Aaron did propose a new rule for the board that essentially is saying they will have to hold anywhere from two to six years worth of salary in shares at any given time. And he is proposing to hold eight years worth of his salary for himself in AMC shares. So definitely uh, nothing to be too concerned about. The way they are portraying this is definitely in a negative light. But <clears throat> he did say, in addition, Aaron said, said he plans to start diversifying his portfolio around the end of the year, selling some of his AMC stock under a 10B51 plan. So a very scheduled selling of stock. And essentially, he is 67 years old. He just celebrated his birthday. So obviously, you're going to want to uh, diversify yourself a little bit. He hasn't sold any stock throughout all of 2021 of AMC and owns a large uh, position in AMC. And that's basically from what we got told is his largest position, his essentially his only position out outstanding in his portfolio so definitely nothing too crazy here just take light of what is being said and you really have to come to your own conclusions of the context here but i think just having a picture of adam aaron right front and center on the article made me click on it and it definitely had me fooled for a second just the way that they presented this information so that is everything you guys need to know drop the like on the video comment down below subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when these videos are uploaded also there's two links linked down below in the description one for the buy and sell alerts you'll be notified in real time every time a trade is bought or sold instead stock options and crypto. So definitely check that out. Also, there's a link down below for public get up to $70 in your choice free stock. When you use the link down below, no need to link bank account or deposit a single dollar. You get your free stock in about three minutes time. They also do not use payment for order flow. So that is why we promote them over here on the channel. We are a fan of no payment for order flow. So that is all for this video. Drop the like, all that good stuff, everything we already talked about. You guys enjoy the rest of your night and I will see you in the next video.